What we're seeing is a swing to the right that is quite scary for the Democrats as they look into 2022 and 2024. Hispanic and Latino support for the Democrat Party is absolutely tanking, and I cannot be any happier. My name is Kyle, and I have over 25 years of political experience in campaigning and running campaigns and all kinds of cool stuff like that. In this video, I'm going to give you my conservative take on why the Democrat Party is losing the Hispanic vote and why they're running away in droves and what they plan to do about it, the Democrats that is, which isn't much, which is pretty interesting. And ultimately, what's the core reason why Hispanics are leaving and it's something that you don't want to miss. Check this out right here. This article right here starts off by saying, Democrats' worst fears for the Hispanic vote in Texas are coming true. This is from the Daily Wire. It says, much has been made of the Democrat Party's diversity, inclusion, and equity messaging. Equity messaging, which basically says, we will tell you whatever you want to hear, but we're going to do the opposite once we get into office. Because they really don't care. It's all about messaging. And it's presumed success in creating an unbeatable majority based on an electorate of minority groups. Getting a bunch of people together and saying, hey, vote for us, despite the fact that we don't support anything you stand for, but the other side's way worse, so vote for us because we'll protect you and we'll help you along for those big bad people. Those Republicans, they're, they're horrible. You know, don't worry about them. We'll protect you. That's what the Democrat model is for voting. They go after minority groups because they feel that they can manipulate them much easier. Okay? And here it says here, Democrats dream of a diverse majority hit reality check when the newest Wall Street Journal poll found that Hispanic voters gave Republican candidates a nine-point lead over Democrat candidates for Congress. This is a Wall Street Journal poll. So what this is saying is, is that there was a nine-point lead from back in November. So November of last year, less than half a year, the Democrat Party has lost 9% of its Hispanic support. And remember, Democrats require a huge support within Blacks, Hispanics, to have the kind of majority to win elections. And this is a major problem. Let's go to this article from the Wall Street Journal, which we're talking about. This is the article here. Biden Democrats lose ground on key issues. Wall Street Journal poll finds. So still the challenges for Democrats haven't significantly changed. How voters said they expect to vote this year. 46% of voters said they would back a Republican candidate for Congress. If the election were held today, compared to 41% who favored a Democrat, with Republicans gaining support among Black and Hispanic voters since last general poll. That was the one in November. Coming down further here, it says survey also found Republicans making gains among minority groups by nine percentage points. Hispanic voters in a new poll said they would back a Republican candidate for Congress over a Democrat. The two parties had been tied among Hispanic voters in the general survey last November. We said before, they're even back in November, and now they're down 9%. That is a major deal. Here's the article from November. Wall Street Journal. Hispanic voters not evenly split between parties. Wall Street poll finds. This is back in November. So the key thing here is, one year after giving Democrat House candidates more than 60% of their vote, 60% of their vote is what the Hispanics were given the Democrat Party. According to polls at the time, the general survey found that Hispanic voters were evenly split in their choice for Congress. We just mentioned that. It says here in this quote here, Democrat pollster John Elizoni, Latinos are more and more becoming swing voters. They're a swing vote that we're going to have to fight for. So what he's trying hard not to say is, is that we didn't fight for them before. But now that it's close, now we're going to have to fight for them. Look, you have to fight for every single vote, no matter where they stand, politically speaking, because people change. And you don't want to just assume anything when it comes to politics. Also here it says here that Hispanic voters account for one in eight eligible voters and are one of the fastest growing groups in the electorate. Factors that compound Democrat fears about any deterioration in support. And there's your quote again about the swing voters. So just to recap here, back in November, the support for Democrats and Republicans were even. Less than half a year later, five months later, we saw a nine point swing towards Republicans. Here we go here. Here's an article here from Breitbart. Republicans take nine-point lead with Hispanics. Support from black voters more than doubles. Now 27%. I think tomorrow that I will do a video on the black voter support. But for now, that right there is incredible. The poll conducted for the newspaper by Democrat firm Impact Research and GOP firm Fabrizio Lee & Associates from March 2nd to March 7th surveyed 1,500 registered voters 
and has a 2.5 margin of error. Now, I do understand that registered voters is not as good as, let's say, likely voters, but a sample of 1,500 is still pretty good, and a margin of 2.5 is excellent. And what a margin of error means is, if you take 2.5% of 9%, it could be higher or lower 2.5% either way. That's what that means. So that's, that's pretty good. So it could be 11 or it could be 7. 7, at the worst case for Republicans, is still pretty good considering we're only talking five months ago, we were even. And again, talking about the black vote here, more than doubled. We'll talk about that in another video. And here's that same thing in Texas where the Texas primary GOP Hispanic gains may indoor post-Trump. This is from March 10th, a few days ago. It says voters in heavily Hispanic parts of South Texas cast record numbers of ballots in the state's Republican primary last week, leaving the GOP excited about a growing shift toward their party. You know what? It's funny because the Democrats for a long time have said, hey, if we just flood the border with Hispanics, Hispanics vote Democrat, so why not? Just push them in. They'll vote for us. Well, you know what? The thing is, people are actually smart. <laughs> they actually vote their own interests. They're not going to just knock over and vote for you just because you say so. I mean... I mean, black people have, but you gave them compelling reasons to do so because you lied to them about systemic racism and all the other stuff. But now people are figuring it out, and now they're figuring out, well, let's do something else. Whether I go independent or vote Republican, I can't vote Democrat anymore. And this is why the walkway movement was so powerful, because people were tired of being lied to. That's the deal here. Check this out. Just 46 residents of Star County, Texas. Just 46 residents. 46 cast ballots in the state's Republican primary two years ago. 46. <laughs> but last week, nearly 1,100 Republicans voted in the sparsely populated county that hugs the Mexican border. Why is that? I'll tell you why. It's because they're seeing people come across the border illegally, jumping past the process which these people who are legal citizens did the right way, were at the back of the line, moved their way up, worked, fought, became citizens, and now benefiting from what this country has to offer. And guess what? Other people are coming in, jumping the line, and maybe even promoting the same problems that the people who were there before were running from or leaving from. They understand that. They resent that. But it's not just there. Check this out. A similar surge in Republican turnout unfolded across South Texas, a long-time Democrat stronghold dominated by Latino voters. In five U.S.-Mexico border counties, nearly 30,000 people voted in the GOP primary, an increase of more than 25% in participation from 2020. So, back in 2020, the last election, 25% more people have voted in U.S.-Mexico border counties. I'm telling you, they are tired of seeing people come across the border, disobeying the laws, and bringing policies and practices into their areas and their communities, for which they want to be no part of, which is why they came here to begin with. I'm telling you right now, as a former political campaign manager, that these numbers here are running shockwaves through the Democrat Party. This is something that they have no idea how to handle. We'll cover their attempts at what they're going to try and do in a little bit here. But right now, they don't know what to do. It says here, the Texas primary, which ushered in the 2022 midterms, is emerging as an urgent warning for Democrats who are clinging to narrow majorities in Congress. Right now, I think that the Congress majority for the Democrats is gone. They're not going to be able to keep that. I did a video a few months ago about that and our predictions. We'll do an updated version of that soon to give you the indication of where we are right now. But right now, it looks like the Democrats are going to lose the Congress in terms of the House. The Senate is still up in the air, but even that looks promising in many ways. But guess what? It's not just Texas. In South Florida, where Democrats were caught off guard by losing two House seats in 2020, that they flipped the previous cycle, some say the party must intensify on-the-ground operations that were largely suspended during the pandemic. So more on this, take a look at this clip here from December of 2021. This is from Fox News. Check this clip out right here. So could strict restrictions like the ones in New York and California actually be helping the GOP 
gain voter support ahead of 2022 and 2024. Wall Street Journal highlighting a new emergence of Republican voters in Pennsylvania, where GOP gains among Hispanics are starting to mirror those in other parts of the country. Let's get what we're seeing is a swing to the right that is quite scary for the Democrats as they look into 2022 and 2024 it has motivated some of that because of the economic policies that adversely impact small business owners, a lot of them Hispanic, and the industries where our community are overrepresented in the labor force, like service, restaurants, hospitality, construction, and others. So absolutely, those policies are going to continue to make that swing happen. And a lot of people are paying attention. And those numbers you quoted are a big surprise that we hadn't seen in at least over a decade. Well, so as you can see, the policies of this current so-called administration are causing Hispanics, they're looking to vote their interests. That is what Democrats don't seem to know. The people who vote their pocketbooks and their interests for their families and Hispanics are no different. And so, and when they see the policies of the so-called administration, it's making them want to look for other options. So what are Democrats going to do about this? Well, what they always do, they're going to tell you one thing, get your vote and do the opposite. Check this out here. This is from Breitbart. Paskey says no Venezuelan oil at this time as Hispanic support for Democrat collapses. Now, I found the title of this article pretty interesting because it says here as Hispanic support for Democrat collapses. So I went to the article and went through it and was looking and scrolling down and kept scrolling and way down the article, way down, I found this. A Democrat polling firm found in a study published in December that 40% of Hispanic voters quote, are concerned about Democrats embracing socialism, unquote, according to NBC News, are concerned about Democrats embracing socialism. And there you have it. That's it right there. Hispanic and Latino voters do not want socialism. And they see that because people can think. They vote their interest. They came from a socialist country, whether it be Venezuela, whether it be from Cuba, whether it be from any parts of the world. People do not want socialism. People want to come here because they want to escape where they were lacking civil liberties. That's when it comes to this country. This polling firm also said here, quote, although the socialism concern is more prominent in Florida, it's not confined there, unquote. NBC observed, citing the results of the Equus research study. And so there you have it, a bunch of information, and I hope I was clear on this, as to why Hispanics and Latinos are leaving the Democrat Party and actually going into the Republican Party. This is a total nightmare for Democrats, and this thing about Venezuelan oil is not going to be enough to sway many of these people because they see in their communities, especially on these border towns along the Mexican border, they're seeing firsthand the impact that it's having in their communities, and they want no parts of it. So what are your thoughts on the fact that the Democrat Party is losing Hispanic support in nearly record numbers? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be curious to know what you think. And if you like me doing this channel where we take pop culture and politics and filter to you right, then please check out some more content that we have for you right here.